What's up guys, it's Kaden here. Uh, I am 86 days on T today and I just wanted to talk about a couple things that are going on. Um, recently I have a couple things to share with you guys. Um, number one actually is, is pretty exciting. I actually just got done hanging out um, last night and this morning uh, with uh, Malcolm the FTM Traveler. Um, Gorilla Shrimp on Instagram, I don't know if any of you know him, but uh, wicked cool. We had uh, he held a Providence meetup last night that I decided to go to, and it was uh, me and two other guys from Providence area, and then Malcolm uh, and his dog Grayson joined us for dinner too, um, and that was fun. And then um, he literally just travels all around the country in his car with his dog, and and meets up with guys and and stays at you know, whoever's house that he can or sleeps in his car, so I offered him to come back here and he uh, spent the night on our couch with his dog and um, it was pretty dope. We went to the gym this morning and uh, showed him my gym and um, took him to, down to the park downtown and we had lunch outside and it was nice. Um, but really cool to meet another um, guy who's trying to do some activism in the community and he really has... Um, made some great strides in connecting trans brothers all over um, the U.S., kind of with his road trips and everything. Um, so that was really cool to meet him. Uh, the other thing that I wanted to mention was I did get uh, my blood work results back from my first T-level test on Friday, and that actually did not go well, um, as I hoped it would. I found out that my T levels are over 17 or er, over 1700 and uh, that is more than twice what they were expected or hoped to be um, and so that is pretty alarming for a couple reasons um, I know that puts a lot of cardiovascular stress on on you um, with the extra T as well as when you have too much tea, it can actually have a reverse effect and turn into estrogen. So we definitely don't want that to happen. Um, so my doctor uh, is actually taking my dose down from uh, 0.4 to 0.2, which is kind of disappointing because when I started tea, I started at 0.25 and then got bumped up to 0.4. And now I'm getting bumped down to 0.2 for the next six to eight weeks. Um, so that kind of sucks. And then on top of that, uh, it sounds like every week, midweek, so I do my shots on Monday, so this would have to be like Thursday or Friday. Um, also for the next six to eight weeks, I'm going to have to go uh, to either Cranston or Fall River to get my, uh, blood drawn. Uh, so at the midpoint between my injections so that it's kind of like when my T has leveled out a little bit and it's starting to come down. Um, if it spikes on Monday, then my lowest point is Sunday and then goes back up on Monday. So, um, that's pretty much what I'm looking at now and that, that was a major disappointment because I've really started to, you know, get excited about what's going on with me and everything. Um, so it's a minor roadblock. I'm trying not to get too upset about it. Um, trying to just kind of go with the flow and keep myself safe. Uh, they're not really sure what caused the, the bump in the T levels, um, they did check my thyroid because I've been having some trouble with food and nausea lately, um, but my thyroid was fine, and so we're thinking it has something to do with these really, really excessively high T levels. Um, and they're looking into my workout supplements, actually, because um, I do take pre-workout and creatine every day um, before and after my workouts. So hopefully that doesn't have an effect today. I did my first workout without any supplements. And it was a it was a little bit of a bummer, but um, I guess we'll we'll just have to figure out and wait and see what's going on. I mean, ultimately, this is the beginning of the journey, so I would like to you know go through it safely. And I would just say you know if you're dealing with similar things, keep your head up and always listen to your doctors because they're the ones taking care of you. So can't get anywhere if you're not functioning. And um. So, yeah, I just wanted to share that with you guys. Um, I was a little disappointed, but hopefully we'll have this resolved in the next couple of weeks and I can get back into, um, you know, hitting athletics hard and, and whatnot, not having to worry about cardiovascular stress or anything like that. Uh, so, 
yeah, hope you guys enjoy the update. And I'm still working on self-made fitness. It's coming to you. Um, finishing up the logos and uh, the apparel designs right now. And then I will start bringing you a couple Flex Kitchen videos. And then we'll get the ball rolling on this. And I'm really excited and I'm hoping to have the announcement out to you guys real soon. I uh, hope everyone has a great Tuesday and catch up with you later. Bye.